स्टूडेंट्स डिजिटल ट्रांसमिशन की डिस्कशन चल रही है वी हैव सीन एज टू हाउ द डिजिटल डेटा इज कन्वर्टेड टू अ डिजिटल स्ट्रीम और अ डिजिटल सिग्नल फिर हम लोगों ने यह भी देखा कि यूजिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिजिटाइजेशन हाउ वी कन्वर्ट द एनलॉग डेटा इन टू डिजिटल डेटा सो दैट इट कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड एज अ डिजिटल स्ट्रीम और अ डिजिटल सिग्नल वंस अगेन अब स्टूडेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ डिजिटल ट्रांसमिशन ट्रांसमिशन एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज दैट ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशन मोड्स वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ट्रांसमिटिंग ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू द अदर देर इज अ इश्यू दैट इज ऑफ प्राइमरी कंसर्न एंड दैट इश्यू इज दैट ऑफ वायरिंग वट वायरिंग टू बी यूज एंड स्टूडेंट्स द वायरिंग यूज डिपेंड्स ऑन द डेटा स्ट्रीम students what do i what do i mean by uh, data stream is that we need to decide if we send one bit at a time do we send multiple bits at a time do we send a stream and then stop do we allow the synchronization to happen using some specific combination of bits or do we allow the uh, the synchronization to happen using timing at both ends students on a high level we have got two transmission modes that we are going to be talking about um the first one is called parallel transmission and the second one is called uh, serial transmission students um as you can see on the slide we have got two basic modes of transmission the first one is called parallel and the second one is called serial and then there are further three types of serial transmission they are asynchronous synchronous and isochronous students so uh, the basic definition uh, the difference between the two parallel and serial is that in the first case we send as the name indicates we send multiple bits with every clock tick in the in the case of serial we send only one bit with every clock tick and then you have got three different um, types of serial transmission that we are going to be talking about ab students sabse pehle baat karenge parallel transmission ki students jaisa ki maine aapko bhi bataya parallel transmission ke liye we organize the data in the form of n bits and when we divide this data in the form of n bits then we send all those n bits at the same time with a clock tick students what this means is that we need n number of wires from point a to point b parallel transmission means we have n wires running from the sender to the receiver and we are using those n wires to send n bits with every clock tick if you would have a uh you would you would think about or imagine a simulation it means that there are eight wires running from a to b and with every second if that's our clock tick with every second n bits are sent with every single second n bits are sent from the sender to the receiver ab students uh um, as i told you n wires are required in this particular case in the slide what you're looking at is a sender and we have got eight wires in this particular case so the value of n is 8 now the eight wires are capable of carrying eight uh, different bits and this these eight wires in this particular case um uh, we need them to be up and running from the sender to the receiver um all the time if you are going to be sending eight bits at the same time otherwise there will be a um, loss uh, of bits in there students some advantages of this um, transmission mode the parallel transmission mode the basic one is speed so um, if if you have got no other factors impacting our transmission then parallel transmission can increase the transfer speed by a factor of n where n is the number of bits that we are sending at the same time students um the disadvantage as you would have already guessed is 
the cost. And why the cost? Because we need N wires to be running from the sender to the receiver. So although we managed to get higher speed of transmission, we um, have got relatively um, more expensive technique in parallel transmission. And therefore, uh, because of this disadvantage, we normally limit the applications of parallel transmission to short distances only. 